Hello, my name is Miss Moore and I'm here at Ingram's Elementary School and what I'm going to be showing you today is when your students log on to their computer, their Chromebooks, they're going to use a QR code. That QR code will be provided by the teacher and they simply just, like it's a sheet of paper, they put it up to the camera, the camera reads the QR code and the QR code takes the kids directly to what we call the Clever Portal and this Clever Portal is where most of all the things your kids are going to be using technology wise is going to be located and I have permission from this student's parent to use their name right now so when they open up the clever the first thing that pops up is I call it the hub page and on the hub page you'll see it says Ingram Salah Elementary School and this is a new option and I really haven't played around with it yet I will in the coming weeks but the most important things that we have on here are the apps. And they even have a whole section for Google Apps. You have Google Classroom, and this is where your students are going to find most of their assignments. Google Drive, this is a storage, uh, kind of like a storage unit for all their Google documents. Gmail, it's where if we're having to send emails to the kids, this is where they'll check it. Google Docs, if they need to type something, they can also always go up to their waffle. And their waffle looks very similar to the portal right here. Uh, it's just a waffle. It's on their Google page. They can click on it. They can go to Google Slides, Google Sheets, anything Google related. It can be found in that waffle. So here are your Google apps. Now, these are apps that are used in the classroom. Different teachers use different things, but we have Achieve 3000 and Amplify. Both of these are used as ELA or reading apps. This will be, the Achieve 3000 will be something that teachers use to help supplement a skill that they're teaching in the classroom. Whereas Amplify is actually where the lessons are going to be coming from. They'll have Amplify. It has the student books that can actually be read aloud to them. That's very helpful. Brain Pop is just a neat little place where they can go and learn about certain things. Uh, CK12 Foundation, it is where they can find, basically what it is is like textbooks online. And if we were to refer to it, which I haven't yet. So Discovery Education, we don't tend to do that. This is a software that we use for assessments when we do like state testing or anything like that. They have, we have to use this. The Edulastic, that is something that may, we may use down the road. iReady is our math system where the kids are going to be taking their diagnostic test first thing when they come. And then Throughout the lessons, we'll refer to iReady for videos, for any help that you may have. And then, like, you have Mastery Connect, which we can use for testing. Just after I teach a skill, I may say, okay, let's go to Mastery Connect, take that little quiz. Okay, I see little Johnny mastered the quiz, but Janie didn't, so I need to work one-on-one -on -one more with Janie to get that skill. Myon is a great app for reading. This is where the, the books are read to, oh, I'm sorry, let me start all over again. They read the books online, they're digital. And once they get done reading, they can, if it's a testing book, they can directly click and go test on Accelerated Reader. And that's really great for the kids when it comes towards their number of words that we have to read. Remind, we don't use Remind as much as we used to. We've turned to Dojo. Renaissance Place is the actual where they test on AR books when they read a physical book. Smarty Ant, Splash Math, and Teacher Monster, those are for lower grades. So if you have a lower grade student, those will be handy. Typing.com is really good if they need to work on their typing skills. And anything else, it would be good just to play around with it, basically. So this is what your kids are going to be logging into when they first open up. And they've done it last year. They're familiar with it. But I just wanted to make sure that you as a parent were familiar with it also. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact the teacher, me, or just the office, I guess. 
So that's it. And I'm looking forward to seeing your kids started. And once again, if you have any questions, just email me. It's riley.more at lcss.us and I will help you as best as I can. Thank you.